this is just a quick little blurb about the engaging story with place session we have coming up on December 10th. I've been getting a lot of questions about it and it's hard to respond with text. So I just wanted to maybe give us a little bit of, uh, of background as to why I think this is important and what you might be able to get from it. So basically, when you work in data analytics, and this is one of the reasons why I added geospatial analytics to what I offer, because when you have technical skills, you need more than that. You just can't apply the analytics to a, a question or a problem and not associate story or some sort of a narrative with it. So that's kind of where I am around a lot of the work I do in racial bias, racial inequity, and uh, topics such as that. And because I work with census data, I work a lot with demographics. And I like this image because it kind of shows you the limits of demographics, right? You can get the same sort of check boxes, but then, you know, what comes out the other end exactly. So and there's a very important uh, piece, an article. It's like 40 pages, which is why I didn't really share it here. But it's uh, it's about looking at racial categories, which a lot of us do if we work with census data. And I'm not saying that everybody's wrong. I'm just saying we're kind of leaving a lot of data on the table. For example, I used to look at census data and, and try to look at different populations and figure, you know, well, you know, race is one checkbox, but, you know, let's look at education. Oh, people that have this level of education, they move through the world this way. And I realized that's a mistake because there's different types of education. There's barriers that you can see geospatially when you look at communities as to where certain populations have been permitted to live uh, over the decades, uh, access to different things. And it's not even like access to healthcare is the same healthcare or access to education is the same education or access to transportation or housing. So these are things I want us to think about during the workshop and there'll be data and powerful data sets to kind of point us through. And I, I also wanna bring up the counterfactual thinking, like if you just change this one element, you know, other things will be different as well. So if I just check race box and look at the data, okay, now I'm looking at something. Now I'm just gonna switch it to another race. These things, can, are they comparable? And I'm gonna make the argument that not necessarily, I'm gonna look at how different types of data and different questions we can ask might contribute. And, you know, one of the examples we'll be using will be the redlining in the housing authority in the 1930s. And we're going to look at how some of these populations demographics, but we're going to be using transparency, transparency and speak very specifically about the influence of the built infrastructure on populations. So I just wanted to use this as a reminder, you know, discrimination is not solely based on phenotype, but through entrenched social and political practices. So we can't just go on, you know, I sit on these panels where they're talking about, you know, how we're combating and contributing to improving diversity. And I'm like, well, what's diversity to you? Is it just a checkbox? Because I would argue uh, at being a brown woman, uh, you know, my being biracial, my father being black and my mother being white, that's one checkbox. You know, I also have, you know, two postgraduate degrees. I live in a lovely home. I am married. I've had a good education, you know. So it's not just that checkbox that contributes to diversity. And I want to teach us how to talk about that when we're looking at story and we're looking at place and we're trying to have a dialogue about inclusion. So, you know, here we look at causality and I'm going to be showing the limits of causality as well. And I'd like you to join me and I'm going to put the links to some of the information I talked about and how to get more information in the comment section.